Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. In this video, I'm going to show you an amazing card uh, built with the Butterfly Brilliance collection. But first, I want to show you what's included in this collection, give you a little tip for the collection, and talk about my online class. So my online class is going to be released on March the 19th, 2021. I'm going to be using the Butterfly Brilliance collection, which I will show you in just a moment, along with the Elegant Faceted Gems and the Silver Metallic Edged Ribbon. So if you want to get the class and the pre-cut cardstock kit for free, that is $107.50. I will have all the links to these class options in the description below this video. Um, if you want if you already have the collection and you just need the pre-cut cardstock pieces, you will get that plus the ribbon and the gems for $45, or you can get just the online class for $20. Now, if you are a member of Stamp Happy Academy, this is one of your free classes for the month of March. Every month, you receive four classes with the basic membership. If you upgrade to the premium membership, you get the four um, online classes, plus you get three live classes every month. So you can check out everything about Stamp Happy Academy in the link below in the description. All right, so the Butterfly Brilliance collection is composed of the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set and the Butterfly Wings dies. Now the stamp set is a large stamp, so it could be used kind of like a background stamp, but I have chosen to cut mine apart also. And I've done it just like a puzzle, so I have it left on my block here, and then I just snipped it apart on the rubber right across. So I can still put the puzzle back together if I want to use it as a complete stamp, but I don't have to. I can use them individually once I get done cutting them all up. Um, I have also taken my fun foam and used the dies to create my bold um, solid dies as you can see that I did with this piece here where I stamped this solid butterfly in balmy blue and then I over stamped my piece of butterfly in black and then I did die cut this. I do have a video showing you how to create stamps using fun foam right up here and I will link that for you. The die set is amazing. So it has a large die, you can see this piece here and I did that on black so all of these black butterflies were run through with this large die here. And then each butterfly has its own detailed die. So then I ran each of these detailed dies through my stamp and cut and emboss machine um, with different colors of cardstock. And then I just overlaid them on top of the black. The set also comes with these two little solid butterflies here, as well as these detailed pieces, like this one here will create um, it'll cut bricks out of your card. Then the other one can do this fun little pattern. And then we have the one that's kind of like a butterfly trail or just, you know, some, some blotches that will just add some fun detail to your projects. All right. So that's the die. So this is the bundle, the Butterfly Brilliance bundle. Then there is the Butterfly Bijou Designer Series paper. It is a package of 48 sheets of Designer Series paper. And there are six patterns and they are double-sided. So you can see I have each of the patterns here for you. They are amazing. And this pattern right here can be cut out with the large die. So you don't even have to do any stamping if you don't want to. And you've got eight sheets of this pattern. So you could make a lot of cards doing a simple card like that. Let me flip this over and show you the reverse side. Just got some gorgeous, gorgeous, colorful patterns here. There you go. Like I said, you get 48 sheets of that. And then we also have something called the, I think it's called Natural Touch. Is that what it is? Yes, Natural Touch Specialty Paper. And this is a wood paper. It looks like I have a glue booger stuck on here. Well, we'll get that off. Um, it's, a, it's a natural wood look paper. And you can see I do have two uh, sample cards here that use a chunk of that, which is really cool. But I've also discovered that you can color this paper with our Stampin' Blends markers to create other wood colors, which is amazing. So you can see I've got the dark crumb cake and granite. Let's see, dark crumb cake and dark gray granite I colored on this piece. I used dark smoky slate on this one. I used our bronze marker alone on this one. This one is dark soft suede and bronze. 
This one is dark cinnamon cider and this one is dark basic black. So you can easily take this paper and turn it into a uh, various wood colors, which is really fun. Now, another little tip I have for you, which is what I'm going to be doing in the card today, is when you get your large stamp, well, I guess I should put it back, put the puzzle back together here. When you get your stamp, there are these little pieces right here that come inside the stamp. So normally you would, you would pull those out and you would just throw them away. But as I was looking at this, when I first got it a month ago, I thought to myself, what the heck? Those look like the perfect little things to keep to make some kind of a background stamp. Now, since I thought of this, I have seen somebody do it for like an animal print, um, which is super cool. But today we're going to kind of use it as like a stone, like a cobblestone background. So when you do get your stamp, do keep those little pieces. Um, and then you can just keep them in your stamp set along with your big stamp and keep those so that you can make a cool background too. So let me get the supplies for this and we will get started. All right, here are my supplies. So I've got my large background stamp that I'm going to be using. I've got my little collage of inset pieces. I have a sentiment um, out of the best year stamp set. So I'm using the happy birthday to you. I've got a Versamark ink pad and a Misty Moonlight ink pad. So what I've got here is I've got a scrap of Misty Moonlight so I can get my butterfly cut out of that. I've got some of the silver metallic edged ribbon. And just as a little teaser, my gift with purchase for orders that I get of $100 or more between March 1st and 15th is a large jumbo bow maker. And I'm going to show you how to use this. Um, I also have a three quarter by two and a half inch strip of basic white. I have a one and a quarter by four and three quarter inch pattern of this paper. I have already die cut myself a Just Jade um, mini detailed butterfly. And then I have my layer of Just Jade, which is, I can't remember, three and a half by four and three quarters. And then this piece is about three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And then I have my uh, five and a half by eight and a half piece of basic white for the base. So the first thing that I want to do is get my um, stamping done. So I'm just gonna take this piece off of my large stamp. I'm gonna add it to a block. And I'm gonna ink this up with my Misty Moonlight. So we'll just tap, tap, tap all around. Get it nice and inky. And I'm gonna stamp it right down here. Okay. And then I'm just going to trim that out and then I'm going to run it over to my stamp and cut and emboss machine and I'll use the big die and I will cut that out and I will be right back. All right, here we go. And I normally put a piece of washi tape um, onto the die to hold the paper in place. Um, it just helps me get a better cut. So there's our butterfly. Whoops. So we can set our two butterflies aside. So now we are going to use our fun background stamp that we just made. And I'm going to use that in some Versamark ink. And I'm going to do that on my layer of mint macaron. So since I'm going to be stamping off of the paper to make it a little more random, I am going to get myself a scrap here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ink this up in my Versamark pad. Sometimes I like to hold it so I can just really get that ink um, onto my stamp. And then I am just going to stamp it onto my paper. And then you can see what a really cool background that is. So then I would kind of twist it and turn it a little bit. So I'll maybe put one right there, ink that up again, maybe turn it this way. And get that, ink it up again, and maybe slide this one in like that. Because I only need the top half of this layer done. I guess I should have mentioned that. You're probably wondering why in the world I'm not doing the whole thing. That's why. And then I will finish with one right. Well, maybe we'll do this one since we don't want it to look exactly the same. We want it to be random. And so there we have our fun background. So definitely keep the insides to your stamp. You will not be sorry. Okay. So then I'm going to add my designer series paper to the bottom. So I'm just going to bring in some seal adhesive. Oops, get that thing started. And we'll just add a little bit of adhesive here in a few different spots. And we'll just 
let's get that right down here at the bottom and you can tell there are our three colors of stamp or our three stampin up colors in this paper we've got the misty moonlight the mint macaron and the just jade and that is a tiny bit too long but always better to be too long than too short okay so then we're gonna take some more of that ribbon where did i put it i'm gonna add just a strip of it across my layer let me get that cut off and then i like to use scotch tape and i can't find my big dispenser right now so i will use this kind of cheesy dispenser that i am not even sure where i got that so i'm going to do this so that my ribbon is kind of in the middle of the designer series paper and my paper layer so i can kind of pull it back a little bit and line that up and then i'll just tape the ends to the back of the card and we'll just pull that other end over and add the tape again. Okay. And so then this layer, we can go ahead and add to our layer of Misty Moonlight. And I'm going to do that. What do I want to do that with? Um, I think I'll just do it with seal. We'll do the other. We'll do this layer with dimensionals. So we'll just add some seal to this layer. Oops. Okay, and there's just going to be a very slight border showing on this card. There we go. Get that into place. Bring in our card base here, and we'll fold that in half. Get a bone folder here to get that nice crisp crease. And yes, I do believe we're going to uh, do this with dimensionals. But before we do that, we'll go ahead and stamp our sentiment. So like I said, it's a three quarter by two and a half. So I'll ink up my sentiment here see if we can get this on here for those of you that know my cataract story i finally went to the eye doctor and had my initial exam so i could get to the surgeon and when she did test my eyes my right eye with my glasses is a good 20 vision my left eye is 200 she informed me that that means i am legally blind in my left eye so <laughs> yay for me oh whoops that's not what i want to do I'm going to bring in our banners pick a punch and I'm just going to slide this in because this punch will work for half inch pieces of cardstock, three quarters, which is what I have here, and then half inch. So this will give you a nice cut edge on your cardstock layer. So you just push it in as far as you want and snip it off. And then we have the perfect banner end. And I'm going to add that right up here on the card. Grab a little seal there, right here at the edge. Right on top of our amazing cobblestone background. Okay, there we go. So then I also wanted to show you how to use this bow maker. This is our, the jumbo bow maker. And this is again free. If you place a hundred dollar order with me between March 1st and March 15th in my online store, I will have the host code listed below for you. Um, and then I will send you one of these. I think it's going to be around the beginning of April because they do need to be printed first. So um, how you use this is these little tines. This is the center. So each one of these tines, um, so this would be one tine from the center, two tines from the center, and so forth. So you can make bows of any size. You can make them tiny. You can make them super large. Um, I find that my go-to size is either two or three. So I'm going to come two tines from the center. I'm going to put my ribbon through. I'm going to bring it back and get it two tines again. So I have four tines now in the center. And I'm just going to push this piece of ribbon through. So what I would normally do is I would leave it on my roll. I would get it to this direction and then I would just cut some off. Okay, so then this piece is going to be tucked down to the center. And then it's going to come up through the center. And we're just going to tie this part like the first stage of tying your shoes. Okay, so you're just going to get that so it's nice and tight. And then you just slide that off and then you have your perfect bow that you tied all by yourself because I know tying a bow can be a little bit of a struggle sometimes. So we're going to add this to the card after we get our butterflies on there. So let me get them. And I think we're going to use some dimensionals here, at least for this large butterfly. And then we're going to add our bow to the side here. So let me 
Get this on, then we'll get our bow on, then we'll put our small one on. All right, so we're going to put this about like so, maybe up a little bit. Okay, then we're going to bring in the bow and some glue dots. And where's my paper? Here we go. Roll my glue dots back, and I'm going to do maybe two, maybe two glue dots on the back of this. Okay. And I'm going to add this bow right here next to my butterfly. And then I can go ahead and trim off these ends because I know how long I'm going to need them now. There we go. And then this other butterfly, I'm just going to add right to the side of my large butterfly. And I'm going to do that by probably rolling up a glue dot, I think. And I'll just add it to the top of the butterfly's body head. So I'm just kind of rolling that with my fingernail so it's kind of like a tube. And then I will just, let's see, I'm going to set it like that. So I'm going to set it right here, kind of on the body on the wing. And then I can just press that into place. And there we have that. So let me go ahead and add my dimensionals to the back of this. And then I think we might go ahead and add a little bit of stamping to the inside. We'll see what we've got here. Maybe we can use our um, cutoff butterfly. Or maybe we'll just use our kind of uh, rock pattern. We'll see. All right. So we will add that to the card. I hope that's straight. Like I said, this cataract, I've got to get it fixed. I don't think that's completely straight. <laughs> We're going to give that another try. We're going to get it. I think that's maybe better. I hope anyway. Okay. So we'll go ahead and open up the card. And I do think I will use my big butterfly since I already have it um, stamped on uh, or on my block is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes words are hard for me. Okay. But I'm going to stamp it off so it's not quite so dark. So I inked it up. I'm going to stamp it off on a piece of scrap paper, and then I'm going to stamp it like that. So it's just a nice little fun detail for the inside of the card. All right. And there it is, you guys, a beautiful hand-stamped card using our gorgeous Butterfly Brilliance collection. Please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. I appreciate that so much. And subscribe to my channel down here in the corner if you wouldn't mind. And then uh, click that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And remember that I am live on Facebook Thursdays at 5 p.m. Mountain Time, which is 7 Eastern. I will have all that information in the description of the video. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day.